Hello everybody, Strategy Games Teeth here and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 A to Z, the Curse series where I play all the interesting nations in Victoria 2 from A to Z. In today's episode, we're going back, back to South America where we're going to be playing Ecuador. Not terribly looking forward to playing Ecuador because it seems like Colombia 2, but also not as good as Colombia because you see, you can form Grand Colombia and claim Grand Colombia, and all these other decisions are basically the same. So this is going to be a great video. Um, I'm going to try and keep it spicy. I'm going to pick a very distinct ideology, and we're going to stick to it. Apparently, I start in a position where I can pass reforms. Reforms are going to be the number one way I increase my population. So outlaw slavery right from the beginning. Get those pops in here. Deleting my navy is the most Victoria 2 South America thing I can possibly think of. Right at the beginning of the game here, Colombia is at war with Venezuela, which means um, my time to shine. I'm getting my cores back. Colombia is willing to peace out with me. I think they made the right decision considering I sieged down Bogota. And yeah, I will take all my territory back. Now, I only have cores on this bottom portion, but I'm greedy, so I'm taking everything. Suck it, Colombia. We're finally taking advantage of that endless immigration flow. Hopefully, we'll be able to get our pops up. I'm just trying to beat Colombia at this point, because when I do that, I should be in a decent position to uh, become great power. Looks like France is having the game of their lives. Good amount of land has been taken from them and um, they're being absolutely demolished by basically everybody under the sun. I think it's kind of comforting to know that despite how many tragic things happen to the world, despite how many pandemics we have to fight, every time you load up Victoria 2, the Heavenly Kingdom will rise up in the Qing Empire. It is a given. A hundred years could pass. And this event will still happen for unknown reasons. If you haven't guessed already, I'm bored out of my mind. There is nothing going on here. I am literally playing Stardew Valley on my other monitor. Nothing is happening. Also, why can we not make infantry? We have not invented flintlock rifles, so we can't create infantry. What kind of a country did I agree to play? Oh my goodness, this is so bad. America, I I have no words for you. How does this happen every single game? I'm at war with Peru now, because I chose to back my Bolivian ally. I'm hopefully gonna be able to get my cores back out of this. That's the goal. All right, Peru has decided to surrender and give me all of my core provinces. I'm going to keep everything I've gained. I'm just a little evil like that. And yeah, now Ecuador. Looking mighty, mighty, mighty thick. We are in a really good position. Also attracting immigrants, always good. I really want to get that pop number over a million. Right now, we're just treading water. Secondary power, baby. I found the EPN, which is um something in Spanish that I cannot pronounce. I'm going to find it anyway. It gives us research points. Sweet. Ecuador is a long way from GP right now. So I'm gonna declare war on Colombia because they have states. I will take their states and I will become great power. All right, we've peaced out with Colombia. We, we now have terribly disgusting borders to be completely honest with you. But yeah, we're much stronger now. Somebody has invented communism. And um, I'm feeling that the people of Ecuador, they want to be a communist state. They just don't know it yet. So, uh, communist Ecuador, here we come. The political campaign of 1881, support the communist parties. We are going to become a very, very, very communist country. Chile has called me to war against Peru, and I take any opportunity to stomp on my southern neighbor. Hopefully, I'll get a state out of this. All right, we have beaten Peru and Argentina so bad that they're willing to surrender. I took the Peruvian capital, which makes me significantly more powerful, and 
Chile took this part of Peru. Peru, not looking so good, if you know what I mean. Hey, the communists have come to party. <laughs> the new Ecuador has almost been realized. People really love the communist South American nation because they are just flocking out of Europe to uh, Ecuador. The communists have seized power, which um, apparently changed a lot of things. We, we now got this new flag. The proletariat has taken over. Very interesting. Oh, and the United States of Brazil has declared war. And Chile, apparently. People are not big fans of the communist mission. I don't think Brazil thought this through, to be completely honest with you. They have three score worth of troops left. Not looking so good, Brazil. Somehow, the socialists have come to power, even though 100% of the house is communist. I do not really understand how to play communist in uh, Victoria 2, but I guess I'm figuring it out as we go. Well, the communist era appears to have been short-lived because the government was overthrown. So I guess we're back to um, liberal Colombia, but we're still fighting a war that is called the Brazilian Restoration of Ecuadorian Democracy. Well, they won, just not in the way that they intended. I can enact women's suffrage, which is pretty good. I'm also going to hold an election and get the socialists in charge so I can tax more. The country is in really bad shape right now. We really need to beat Brazil, but they won't surrender. All right, Brazil is willing to surrender, which means they become a puppet. And this is like the remains of that silly war that started earlier when... Um, uh, they showed up and decided to end the communist reign. Well, the, the communist reign has been ended, but also now Brazil is my puppet. I am so excited. Hey, we're finally considered great power. This took weeks and forever and was not fun, but yeah, we finally did it. Now we gotta spear my neighbors. This might never happen because the European powers often refuse to let go. Come on, Britain. How does this happen in Europe? North German Confederation has a huge portion of South Germany, but they've lost a bunch of these states. Please fix the game. Unfortunately, my great power days are about to be yoinked from me by the Confederate States of America, who for some reason are beating up the real Americans. This is like top 10 saddest things I've ever seen. Oh no, the Confederates bonked us out of great power. This is a very sad day. I don't know what to do now. I don't know how to get great power. Looks like the Ecuadorian people have decided that because we dropped from GP, it's time to elect the communists again. Did they not see what happened last time this happened? Uh, the return of the communists? Somehow, I'm involved in a great war, which um, does not look like a great time, judging by how this war in Russia is going. The breakup of the Russian Empire? This seems to happen every time they lose a great war. Siberian Republic? This is literally the Hoi 4 No Step Back DLC. The Japanese colonies are also up for grabs, which um, I will take them. I um, don't know what exactly they have. I'll also take Russian colonies. I'm desperate. I need to get GP before 1936. The Soviets have come around to our way of thinking. Let us spread the red communism across the entire world. Mmm. Mmm, yes. This is my favorite nation in the entire world. The United Kingdom. This is definitely where the United Kingdom is. The communists have come to power, and um, that's interesting, to say the least. This is the second time this game this has happened. Uh, I feel like I've seen this movie before. But Venezuela has declared war on me. Apparently, they do not remember what happened to Brazil when they declared war on me in an attempt to overthrow my first communist dictatorship. There we go, my second puppet in South America. Venezuela is mine. We're also gonna be doing some interesting things here. I think we should do the cult of personality because 
it's pretty good and it'll make us a lot more powerful of a communist state as well as implement collectivization mm, yes please communist things and enact a five-year plan which should seriously boost our economy i just wish we would have gotten here earlier because it took a long long time to become wealthy and communist and that is it for this episode of victoria 2 a to z this was a time and a half and not in a good way um this is my third time recording this we got ninth grade power uh, we did puppet some people, but it doesn't particularly matter because we still did not get great power. Um, you know, it, it's always fun to play communist. I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, Europe was a hot mess the whole time. There were always wars going on, always lagging the game. I got beaten out by China as one of the GPs and I think somebody else. I think Japan is above me in the list as well, which is just unfortunate and kind of unlucky. Um, but yeah, I had a good time. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. The next video is going to be something very special. It's going to be Egypt. And I think Egypt will be probably the most fun nation we've played so far. So yeah, I'll see you all then. I'm going to respond to every comment. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. The South American nations I have left to play are Bolivia, Peru, Bolivia, um, just regular Peru, I think, uh, Paraguay and Venezuela and Uruguay. Those are some hard nations. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them, but I promise you this. I'm going to practice. I'm going to get good at Victoria too. I'm going to get good at South America and then I will come back and I will conquer South America. Mark my words. They will not be prepared for me when I return to South America at the end of the alphabet.